I'm calling this video timing problems. Uh, this FLA was sent to me and I'll show you what takes place. It takes a while to, to simulate it. But it's you click this and these colors appear and you pick the right color. For example, gotta go fast yellow is yellow pick yellow again yellow again red blue red red blue red it looks like it's working but there see the timer stopped and I even though I clicked the yellow and the timer stopped and up here I'm doing some tracing to see what's going on and I can see that the the timer is that the correct number has been selected and the problem is that it's a random it's random a random problem and random problems um, they're really hard to fix and they're usually timing timing between different different events so I did some work on it and I come up with some kind of solutions the first thing I want to do is open up this frame here and I want to eliminate these timers. So I'm putting a forward slash and an asterisk. Asterisk is the upper case of the figure number eight. And then asterisk forward slash. That takes that timer there out of the picture. Go down here, two forward slashes here, here and get rid of them timers. Two forward slashes here get rid of them timers and two here and two here and get rid of those timers and I want to do the same thing for each of these colors so I don't think this tutorial is going to be very long so I'll do them forward slash asterisk asterisk forward slash forward slash is here comment them out comment them out comment them out comment them out and one more to do forward slash asterisk right here asterisk forward slash and Slash 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 slash. Now, if I tried it, I don't have any timer. And two things, it works, but I don't have any timer right now. So if I test it out, my colors. If I red red, yellow yellow, blue blue, red red, blue blue, red blue yellow blue red see i can double click red many times and it's still selecting red i can see it up here it's still selecting red five is red 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 there's blue because blue is three so the problem seems to be have disappeared but i don't have a timer so now what i want to do is make a timer open the library panel come down here in the corner it says new symbol want this to be a movie clip and I'm going to call it time T I M E R timer F R A M E frame underscore M C timer frame underscore M C now we're inside of that movie clip and I want to put some text here so I'm going to call this line text T E X T right here pick up my text tool and pick any color you want I have blue here make a box and call this I don't want that big over here to the side put this text box let's bring that font down down to about I'm down to 28 
and let's put a 5 in here. 5 space SCC, 5 seconds. Go up to, we're, we're, we're running around 24 frames a second, so I'm going to go up to frame 25. Insert a keyframe. Change this from 5 seconds down to 4 seconds. Go up to 50, insert a keyframe. Make this 3 seconds. Just making a little timer here. Up into 75, insert keyframe. Make this 2 seconds. Up to 100, insert keyframe. Make this 1 second. And up to 125, insert keyframe. And make this 5 seconds again. Because it's going to loop around. Okay, let's lock this layer. Let's insert a layer and call it Action Script AS. And let's go to frame one, open the actions panel, and put a stop. S T O P, open close bracket, semicolon. And let's go up to this last frame. Right click, insert a blank keyframe, open the actions panel, and type in this code. Type, 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 type. It says movie clip, capital M, capital C, that's all turns blue. Open bracket parent, P A R E N T, close bracket. That means go back to the main timeline. Period, go to and stop, small g, small t, capital A, capital S, open bracket, six, close bracket, semicolon. So it's going to go to a frame six, which we don't have yet. Okay, I'm going back to scene one. So make sure all the layers are locked. Select the timer layer. Insert a layer. Call it T. I M E R F R M timer frame. Select frame three of this time timer frame. Insert a blank keyframe. Oops. On frame three, insert a blank keyframe. And open the library and drag that timer down here below that one you already have right there now if it's too small you can also always go back and make the font bigger select frame one and let's open the actions panel frame one and down here where we have this button that's telling us to to choose the random number we want to say start that timer so in here type 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 timer frames underscore mc period go to and play open bracket to close bracket semicolon and it's called timers frames I think that's what I called it just one timer frame no s okay so let's go to and play frame two now if I look here open the property I'm on timers frame I'm on frame three I want to give it a instance name right there if I select it in my selection tool select it there it is I got to give it an instance name T I M E R F R A M E timer frame underscore M C so now that Part should count down. Okay, there it is. Five, four, three, two, back to five. Five, four. Now it stopped because we're telling it to go to frame six, which has nothing on it. Let's go back to the main timeline. Now we got to start that timer for each of the colors. So I'm selecting. The blue, which is frame three, action script. And 
up here where it's the correct answer. Right after this here, go to and stop random frame, insert a line and type this, type, 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 type. Timer frame underscore MC, go to and play, open bracket two, close bracket, semicolon. Copy that. Go to the next one, which is four. Go up to that or down. Right here, we have this random frame for the right answer. Paste it in. And once more. And paste it in. Going back to the main timeline. Now we got to go and do the wrong one. So I'm selecting frame three of the actions layer. I'm going down here. I'm going to copy this. Oh, never mind. I'm going to go down here to where it's wrong. After this, go to and stop. Put a line in here. Type, type, type. It says timer frame underscore MC period go to and stop open bracket one close bracket semicolon that's going to go back to that frame one so we can get the wrong answer and we got to reset that back to frame one. So now copy that Come down here paste it in. Go to the next frame, which is the yellow one, frame five, or frame four, rather. Come paste it in. Come down here. Paste it in. And we got this one to do. Down here. Paste it in. down here paste it in okay let's open let's open them again one at a time start with this number frame number five and this go to and stop make it frame six okay on that wrong and make this one frame six go to the next one Frame six. Here, frame six. And I believe this is the last one, which is frame three. Make this frame six. And frame six. I'm back on the main timeline, so now we need to have something in frame six. And if we did, if we did have something and jump to frame six, let's just show you something. Let's put in um, a blank frame here for a minute. Blocking all the layers, selecting the text layer, I'm inserting the layer, and frame six, insert keyframe. And let's just pick up our text tool and here I'm right F R A M E frame six. Now let's test it. Test movie test. And this should happen when we get a wrong selection. Oh for some reason I didn't stop. Now, I can't find anything wrong, but I've had this happen before when I when I test the movie out the first time. So let's just test it again. I didn't make any more changes, and it seems to be all right now. That happens every once in a while to me. It could be my machine. So now I'm selecting my color, and I'm first of all going to let the timer time out. And when it does, it should send me to frame six. That's good. That part works. Control test movie test 
This time I'm going to select a couple right answers and then a wrong answer. So blue, there's blue, that's good. Yellow is yellow, that's good. Blue is good. And notice each time I press them that the it resets. Resets to five. Resets to five. It selected yellow again. Resets to blue now. Yellow. Resets. Back to yellow. Blue. Red. Each time it's resetting and I'm selecting blue again. And this time I'm going to select the wrong answer. This time I'm going to select the wrong answer. Red. And I get this error. This cannot access a property uh, or method of null. And what that usually means. Oh, i got to stop it. And what that usually means. This cannot uh, access a property or method. It means when I jump to this frame, this code still carries on into this, even though it's not up here, this code still carries on. And that's the problem I have with those timers that were used originally, is I cannot find a, a good means of turning off functions. Uh, they seem to work if you're just testing them out by themselves, but when you have other things and you get that timing problem, you also get this, this problem where it's still looking for these some of these things now I think one thing I'm having problem with and maybe why it did that was I'm just gonna click on my stage for a minute here and I shouldn't have air for Android I should have uh, players 10 and 10.1 so now how to get rid of that problem this is how I do it I click here and I'm gonna drag right down to here like this and do a right click and insert a keyframe. Now, all these things I don't necessarily want to keep these all on 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 this frame six, but but the big but is if they're not somewhere, then the code is still looking for them, and that's when you get that error. Okay, so now what things do we not want here? And let's turn off all the lock them all for a minute. Let's turn off all the pictures. And the buttons okay I definitely okay I have all the them all turned off that I can't see them except this spot buttons one and I need this button to be over over here so I'm going to unlock this layer click on this button right click copy it copying the button select this frame six come down here paste in place so there's that home button so this is taken care of now timer um, I'm not using this timer so that that whole layer can be can be deleted right eventually that layer can be deleted but right now I'm just gonna leave it in there this timer frame we need that here because that's what I'm actually looking at I won't need to see this this timer frame so I'm gonna leave that one unlocked see how I got this unlocked I'm leaving this one unlocked these two are locked the score I want to see the score because that's what this is all about the answers I don't need to see the answers do I I don't need to see the answers so um, that's these things here so leave that one unlocked uh, I don't need to see this word color I don't need to see the colors so leave that one unlocked this is all gonna do something in a minute so let's right now I have colors unlocked which is if I look down the bottom that's the colors I have answers unlocked that's the buttons that we're pressing and that's probably the problem uh, the timer that I make I don't need to see that and the old timer I don't need to see that either so that one can go like that the old timer now come down here make sure that action script layer is locked this this one here this layer two we're going to get rid of that anyway leave that locked leave text locked leave the score locked and leave buttons locked and then come down here and highlight all them click on them and drag them right off the stage somewhere anywhere they're up here they're out of our way so now when we jump into that state that frame six this is all we're going to see okay so let's test that I'm putting everything back locking all my layers and let's test this and you'll see that when we jump into frame six there's still one more thing we got to do. 
Okay. Uh, we're going to let it time out. And it jumped to frame 6. We've got to get rid of this here. So that worked. Now let's do it with a oops. Let's do it with a wrong selection and see if we get rid of that error, that 1009 null error. Okay. And I want to choose yellow, get some right first. Blue, notice it resets every time. Blue resets. Resets. This time I'm gonna get a wrong one. And we didn't get that error. The only thing we had to do is get rid of this, choose the right color thing. Okay, let's unlock the text layer. Let's select that text, which is that one right there, and drag that up out of the way. We don't need that. But let's go back into this text frame two. Right click, get on this, get those little cross here. Right click, copy this. Copy. Come up to this layer. Uh, text layer frame 6 and come down here right click paste in place we can now delete this layer 2 we don't need it delete it now this is what we'll get when we have the game over first of all let's let the time time out we'll get a couple right then we'll time it out yellow yellow blue blue yellow yellow now we'll let it time out four three two one and we jumped into game over and there's those things you're you're still working on now let's see if that works when I select an incorrect I'll get red first right red right it's good seeing that it resets every time yellow right red right and it reset red right this time I'm going to get wrong it jumps into game over and I got no errors so now if anyone's watching this knows how to rectify it using code and I've asked a hundred a hundred times at least in my tutorials I can never get it to work when it's more than one or two things going on so I hope this works for you and let me know and uh, good luck hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learn